Reflections on the Kenosha unrest that followed the police shooting of Jacob Blake continued tonight with a slide presentation. Dozens of people gathering at Civic Center Park tonight, the center of unrest in August of 2020. CBS 58's Michelle Fiore reports tonight from Kenosha. Jacob Blake Sr. taking the podium here, saying that Kenosha will always be part of his family because of the way the people here took him in after his son was shot. He and many others here are continuing to fight for justice. No justice! Two years later, the memories haven't gone away. This citizen journalist shared highlights of her collection to mark the anniversary. She took 2,000 photos during the unrest and the trial. This was the window that they broke and the flames that were coming out. All these trucks on fire, you had the courthouse now burning, and you had the downtown area now burning. So there clearly was not enough law enforcement to contain the crowd or to um, contain the anger. Anger has turned to action. Two years later, some progress. Jacob Blake Sr. points to the conviction in Breonna Taylor's untimely death. Does that make us lay down and be satisfied? No, we have to keep fighting. I'll fight to my grave. Big Jake and other activists now asking the Justice Department to reopen cases that had been cast aside during the Trump administration. Why can't we, instead of making differences by the way we look, why can't we just bridge that? Reminders of what Kenosha went through still have a place downtown and uptown. People still have their justice for Jacob Blake signs up, um, you know, just images of peace and symbols of peace and things of that nature. Tanya McLean says Kenosha has seen some good and some bad over the last year, starting with interim police chief Eric Larson. And things are, you know, going well. But with regards to a task force started by the mayor, McLean says nothing came of it. We've never heard what the outcomes were on our suggestions, and we worked really, really hard on that. Jacob Blake Sr. in the last two years has gone all over the country advocating for victims in the black and brown communities. He says that he continues to come back to Kenosha once again because this is where it all began. Reporting in Kenosha, I'm Michelle Fiore, CBS 58 News.